Hey YouTube, I have an EDA deck tech for you guys today. This one is based off of Bruna Light of Alabaster. Uh, it's a fun deck. She's a pretty fun commander to play with, uh, especially if you put the right auras and enchant creatures in your deck. And uh, she can actually win you a couple games really quickly if you have the right hand. So let's go ahead and go through this deck. Of course we have Bruna. She is from Avacyn Restored. And uh, she costs 6 mana. So you want a decent amount of mana in your deck, uh, and we'll get to that in a sec. But uh, remember, um, whenever she attacks, uh, you get to pretty much gain control of all auras on the battlefield and put any aura from your hand and in your graveyard and attach it to her for free. And that's pretty powerful. Remember, um, a lot of people tend to think that it, her ability only activates when she attacks, but it also activates when it blocks. So it, it makes her a pretty good rattlesnake card. Not that many want to, uh, not that many people want to uh, attack knowing that you have a decent amount of auras in your hand. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and go through the auras first. We have Spirit Mantle. Spirit Mantle is great because she does get the plus one plus one. And, but mainly you get uh, protection from creatures, so she is unblockable at that point. Corrupted Conscience is good, even though it's a pretty expensive uh, casting cost, uh, kind of, in the beginning. Uh, playing this for free uh, is really great because it gives her an effect, and uh, that can win you the game really quickly. Celestial Mantle is great because of the doubling life ability, and plus 3 plus 3 is always good. I put Righteous Authority in here uh, for the card draw, and um, she uh, she does get a boost for every card in your hand, so it's a win-win situation with this, and if you cast this for free, that's always good. Flicker Form is great because not only does it blink uh, Bruna and keep her safe, but it also blinks uh, the auras that are, that are attached to her as well, so this card was like basically made for Bruna, and it works very great for, with, with her. I know Umbra is great because of the first strike, but I put this in for Totem Armor, and it gives your Bruna another chance to live. Gift of Immortality was a new card uh, that I'm trying out. Uh, it's pretty good so far. Um, I would like to test it out a little bit more, but having Bruna come back all the time is always a good thing. Fool's Demise is a uh, great. It's basically like a totem armor uh, in the sense that you get to bring her back, and if you attack with her, um, you get to basically put this back onto her, and in the sense she is invincible. False Demise is the Alliance version of Fool's Demise. Vile Flight is good because it gives uh, Bruna a good boost, but um, if you absolutely need it in the beginning to uh, take care of some aggro creatures and whatnot, this will help you protect yourself in the game too. Cloak of Mist, not that powerful, but having her being unblockable is always good. Uh, having her go in for commander damage will end games pretty quickly. Aldrazi Conscription, uh, to pay this for free, to give her 10-10 and uh, Trample and Annihilator 2, um, people will probably ban this card because of how powerful that combo is. So this is a great card, especially if you have this in your hand and you get Bruna out pretty quickly, uh, the game's pretty much over at that point. Indestructibility is always good because you want to protect her. Aether Armor is great because it gives her plus one plus one for each enchantment you control and you will have a decent amount of enchantments in this deck. And uh, the first strike is always great as well. All for one mana. Entangler is good because not that many creatures are in this deck. Uh, so the fact that you can block with Bruna and if she is pretty big enough with Eldrazi, Conscription and so forth uh, and you equip her Dark Steel Plate Basically, she becomes a awesome blocker, blocks everything, and you get all the auras from her hand. And again, not that many people want to attack, especially when you have this on the board. Spirit Link is great because it is the better life link. Crab Emblem is good because it untaps her. Plus, it has totem armor. That's it for the auras. Let's go ahead and go through the spells. Retether, return each aura card from your graveyard into play, and only creatures can be enchanted this way. Um, in case your Bruna gets shuffled into your library uh, with certain cards, um, there are a certain amount of creatures in this deck that will help you out. So you can go ahead and put uh, play this and you know basically do a semi-Bruna ability on one of your creatures and try to uh, attack with them and try to win off the game with that. Open the vaults is good because any enchantment you have in your graveyard will always come back into play. Blue Sun Zenith is a cheap way to get some card draw. Remember that it is an instant. 
Mind Unbound. This card gets pretty crazy in Commander games. Um, if nobody removes this, you will be drawing quite a number of cards already. And remember, if you have Bruna out, uh, you have a tower out to uh, have a ma no maximum hand size, basically uh, it doesn't matter how many cards you're drawing at the point because you're going to be playing those auras for free. Traumatize is great because this is actually a card that you will use on yourself and not your opponents because basically you want to mill half of your deck uh, you want to put a lot of your cards in your graveyard and then with the Bruna's ability remember that auras from the graveyard your graveyard will also come onto her for free so basically this is a way to just uh, draw half of your deck in a sense to get all those auras uh, on the, into your graveyard and you get to attach them for free Three Dreams is a great tutor uh, if you need three, any three, you can always put them in your hand, play them for free. Lightning Greaves is always good protection, giving them a uh, shroud and uh, haste is always great. Dark Seal Plate is always good, keeps her indestructible. Now for some defensive cards, I put in Curse of Exhaustion. Uh, since this deck is really a commander heavy deck, uh, you do want to uh, basically uh, slow down your opponents as much as possible uh, so you can get Bruna out as quickly as possible. And uh, Curse of Exhaustion is great because, you know, forcing them to play only one spell per turn really does slow certain decks down. Sphere of Safety is great because you will have a lot of auras, a lot of enchantments, and uh, basically forcing people to pay mana to attack you uh, always. Uh, hinders them from their plans and so forth, and they will actually be tempted to attack other people. Swift Foot Boots, always good for protection and haste. Teferi's Moat, um, depending on who you're playing against, uh, creatures of the chosen color cannot uh, attack you without flying, as long as they have flying. Cyclonic Rift, I am surprised that this has not been banned yet, but Basically, if you pay this for the overload cost, and that is you know, your game winner at that point. So, really powerful card. Uh, I really am surprised that this has not been banned yet. For some removal, we have Winds of Wrath. Uh, this throw all creatures with no enchantments on them, which is pretty funny because Bruna will have a lot of enchantments on her. And uh, it can be single-handedly a board wipe for just your opponents while you attack with your Bruna. Real Resistance, always a good utility card. Detention Sphere. Day of Judgment, always a good board wipe. Divine Reckoning is good because basically you will choose Bruna or any of your creatures that you have left over with a lot of auras enchanted onto them. And uh, it really does help out clear out the board, resets the game in a, wa in a way, and uh, lets you uh, basically get control back of the battlefield. Planet Cleansing is great, uh, even though your auras and such will be destroyed. Uh, if you happen to have Bruna in your hand or she's in the command zone, uh, cast this first, then play Bruna, and uh, get all your auras back uh, from your graveyard onto her. Return of Dust is really great because uh, the ability to remove up to two targets uh, is always powerful. For some control, I put in Render Silent. Um, uh, having, a, uh, having a silence onto a counter spell is always good, and it does help you out. It gives you an extra turn, especially early on in the game, so you're trying to get Bruna out really quickly as possible. And if anybody seems to cast something that removes her, such as like Oblation or anything that shuffles her into the library, which you really don't want, uh, this is always good to keep in your hand. Supreme Verdict, one of the best board wipes because it cannot be countered. Soul Snare is great because it helps um, protect you early on in the game and uh, if they have a big creature uh, somehow in the early game, uh, having this out will make them really think twice before attacking you. Disenchant, always a good removal. Arrest is also a great cheap way to stop some of their creatures. Oblation, um, this card also is very annoying in commander because if you use it against their commander and you shuffle them uh, back into their library uh, they're basically screwed for the rest of the game until they draw their commander again so this card is insane um, if it is used against you uh, it really stinks because that's basically game over for you uh, but you know 
the fact that you're ha having your opponents draw two cards to trade in for their commander into their library is really powerful. Condemn, also, again, if they are playing aggro commander decks uh, and they're attacking you, putting them on the bottom of their library is very annoying, especially for one mana. Dissipation feels great because early on in the game, um, if you can't get Bruna out because you're having mana problems, this will help you out. If they attack you, uh, basically they go back to your hand. And remember, it is not just creatures. It says whenever a permanent deals damage to you. So anything that happens to deal damage to you, uh, they have to cast it again. Spell Crumple is a good counter spell. Uh, it shovels their um, uh, any card that they cast into their graveyard, and so remember uh, into their library. Sorry, and uh, if they have if they cast their commander, you can also shuffle that back into their library as well. Nevermore is a great card. I really like this in the EDs because you can say their commander name, and until they remove this, they cannot cast their commanders. Very annoying. Alice is a very cheap way to remove some stuff. I have some Planeswalkers here. I have Gideon Jura. Gideon Jura is just one of my favorite Planeswalkers. He um, does a lot of stuff. Uh, his plus two gives you an extra turn. Um, and, you know, for forcing your opponent's creatures to attack you. Uh, and you can block with Bruna to attach to auras and kill off their creatures and so forth. So his plus two is always great. Minus two to destroy type creature is always good without any restriction or anything like that. And if worse comes to worse, you can always activate his ability to turn him into a 6-6, and if you use any of the spells uh, mentioned uh, before, attach all these auras onto him and attack with them, uh, that might also be a way to kill you, uh, kill off your opponents really quickly as well. A Johnny called the Pride, I put him in mainly for his minus 3 ability, uh, so it's basically uh, paying 3 mana for a double strike to double strike your uh, Bruna, and uh, that can end the game pretty quickly as well. Jace Memory Adept, I put in mainly for his zero mill ability. Uh, again, sort of like Traumatize, you want to mill your uh, your own library, get those auras onto the graveyard, and then cast them and attach them for free. Snapcaster Mage is always good, because there are a decent amount of instant and sorceries in this deck that you do want to cast again. Void Stalker is a cheap way to... Um, Protect yourself early on in the game. Again, uh, this is known as a rattlesnake card. Nobody really wants to attack you, knowing that a voice stalker is out. Uh, especially if they have an important creature, they don't want to trade an important creature for a two-one. Invisible stalker is great because it has a one-one hexproof and it is unblockable. Um, this is sort of your secondary win condition. If you if your Bruna got shuffled in, uh, you can definitely put in a lot of uh, auras on him and try to attack because he is unblockable and it is pretty difficult to uh, remove him without board wipes. Windborn Muse is put in here uh, for early on uh, protection. Again, people have to pay two for each creature uh, they are attacking with. Hesperia I just put in, uh, just for fun. I don't think she's uh, really great, but to uh, draw extra cards is always good, and you can help out quite a bit early on in the game. Grand Arbiter Augustine uh, the fourth uh, will not win you any friends, especially for his abilities. Uh, this card is put in, again, for protection. It will definitely slow down their uh, decks, and um, again, uh, to get a mana reduction is always good too. So this card, uh, very annoying. Uh, not that many people will like this card. Sovereigns of Lost Alara. Uh, whenever a creature you control attacks alone, you may search your library for an aura card and enchant that creature. So usually, again, uh, because Bruna is a Voltron deck, you will be attacking with her alone most of the time. And to get an aura card uh, from your library and attach it to her for free, that is pretty good. And Exalted is always the final bonus. Mesa Enchantress. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you may draw a card. Uh, you can use it on her. You can cast auras on her and just draw a card and make her big. Remember, when you're using Bruna's ability, uh, that does not count as casting, so you will not draw cards. So remember that rule. For fun, I put in Hannah's Ship Navigator to get uh, an enchantment uh, or an artifact. Put it back into my hand. Boomer Mystic is always great because all auras um, enchanted to permanents you control have totem armor. So imagine having all those auras on Bruna and with totem armor. So it makes her pretty impossible to destroy. 
Total Guide Heartbeats I put in for its tutor ability. And then we have our lands. We have Strip Mine. Strip Mine I just put in for fun because it is Strip Mine. If you have any problem lands that you have to deal with, it is just a cheap way to get rid of it. And we have the Sky Rune. Um, I have a decent amount of basic lands in this deck, so it is not too often, but fairly often I do get to use this ability. So bringing back creatures that you have uh, back to your uh, to the battlefield for free is pretty good. Hell of Found, Sejeri Refuge, Drifting Meadow, Relicary Tower, Azoria's Guildgate, and the rest are Plains and Islands. So, I hope you guys like this deck. It is a fun deck. Um, I've noticed that maybe the mana curve for this particular deck uh, needs to be revamped and tweaked a little bit. But overall, it is a very quick deck sometimes. Um, it does have a good long-term game as well with uh, certain deck, uh, certain cards that will bring back cards from your graveyard. Um, it's uh, pretty cheap as well. Um, most of these cards that I've placed in um, probably won't cost you more than $5, $6 each. Maybe Eldrazi Conscription from my memory. Uh, cost the most at this point but it really is a pretty cheap deck to play and it's fun very easy to play and you know you just have to focus on your commander protect her and attack with her and uh, that's about it well thanks for watching please subscribe and like my videos uh, it does definitely encourage me to make more and uh, I'll see you guys next video